Hey, Dad. Happy birthday. Hey, hello. What are you How are you, all? You doing great. What are you doing here? What's playing you? train. You are playing train. Yeah, I got this beautiful set here. It's kind of old, but we got it running. Now, this isn't an American train set. What is this? This is a German Marklin. Wow. That is pretty neat stuff. So you're now into Eurorail as well. That's right. How do you That's like the HO? The, um, it's okay. It don't take up as much room as that large standard gauge and O gauge. But it does take up a little bit more space than the, uh, than the N gauge. Yeah. But wow, that really runs nice. I like the rails that much. Well, you have to... Uh, Somebody from Germany gave it to me, so we have to make it go. It's old, but uh, it's running. You got it running. You got a hand. You made a nice looking layout too. Gotta switch the switch. I know. Who was that in this movie? Yeah, that's a good looking engine. That's definitely, that's really going with the propeller there. <laughs> that sucker just goes. Get a nice tight shot of that. Whoa, look at that. Beautiful stuff. This uh, Marklin, it's actually a three rail type, like the MTH or the Lionel, but they hit that third rail you look real close here, there's the little snobs coming up, and that's where it picks up the power. Oh yeah, I see that. Do they use rollers or is there a sliding shoe underneath? No, it's a sliding shoe. That's pretty neat. 
Like in the old days. <laughs> well, these are old trains from the old country, right? Yes. They look like they're running real well, though, Dad. You did a the nice truck, job. The train, those trains, that all came from Germany. Now, this is not the newest Marklin track. This is actually an older style Marklin track. That's the in between. In between. That's, that's what they call the M track. Okay. Now they came out with a. But the, the old track has the real. Third rail? Third rail showing. Like Lionel track. Like Lionel track and MTA. And this one on. They hide this it one better. It's kind of tricky to put it together because you've got the, the connections right there in the center. Now they came out with a new track and it's a plastic track, like plastic bed. This is a metal bed, that's the plastic bed. Got the rails on there, and then they got a connection on there. So you just pull it apart, and then let's have a look. The center rail is right there. It's got like little knobs sticking up. You turn it around, you can see it underneath there. Oh yeah, and I this, see that. This is the new connection, and it just snaps just, together. It just snaps together like that. That's it. Wow, that's easy. That's, pull that's it apart, great. Just pull it apart. There's no little no, rail no joiners. Bending, no nothing, no rail joiners, no nothing. That's really a great track. I like that. I like the track they made. Yeah, and it looks very realistic on the, the way the roadbed. It actually has little, like, gleams a little bit, like stone. Yeah. Very realistic. i tell you what, Lionel and MTH can take lessons from these guys. That looks nice. Even I like this. It does. It just snaps together. Wow. So simple. It's got to be easy if I can do it. It, and pro I, it probably snaps out a lot of dollars too. Yeah, probably so. I noticed the ties are actually painted brown yeah. and you've got like a dark gray for the roadbed. How does this compare to the old track that you said you had? The, the one with old, the, old track? Yeah, the old, old track. But this, this I imagine would be very different looking. That's all right. We can just show them that this is this is the old stuff here, and you can tell they've made a huge difference in appearance. The way the the roadbed looks so much more prototypical and a lot more realistic, even compared to the mid track, which we also have a sample of here. So if you compare them side by side, you could actually see the progression from this track, which is a lot a lot like Lionel's track. To the better style here with still a metal base and then this one's got the plastic base but looks the most prototypical of all that's very realistic stuff yep and then yeah. they also have you can still use this type with that track oh in a transition piece yeah this is a transition piece it has the connector for the so, the so the end is right here to fit in with that end fit in there that's pretty neat that's great. Of course, it's tricky. Not as easy as this track. You know, this this track looks as nice as. Oh yeah, look at that. That fits beautifully, and it's the right profile too. So that's that's a nice transition. That looks really good, Bob. Yeah, and then you just go on with this. This is this and is as nice as what a modeler would make. They did look for this. Set or two. So if you want to add that track in between it, then you have an entrance and an exit later on. Yep. So you can just add to the to the older track that you have. Yeah, that's nice. They were really smart. They Lionel has some transition pieces as well, so that they can go to their old tubular track. But you know, if once you get this, you almost would want to just stick with this type of track. I would imagine. Yeah, it's good looking stuff, Dad. Thanks for showing it to us.